And it's Friday, and you know what that means. It's backyard tailgate time, and we're playing some football here. Are you having fun, Ben? Yeah! Woo! Hmm. We're going to show you guys the Brockett family, their awesome house. Plus, they've got a horse back here. Oh, and we'll also have your forecast. That's next. News 3 is your weather authority, and our Chloe Beardsley is live at our backyard tailgate winter near Hollywood and Owens. What a beautiful backyard that is, Chloe. Absolutely, Reed. I have to be completely honest with you guys at home. This is probably one of the coolest backyards I've ever seen. You've got the Brockett family and company hanging out in the pool right now. And I just have to show you real quick before we get to the forecast. Mike has this really awesome shirt on. Look at that. Eat, sleep, tailgate, repeat. He sells these at the Rebel game, so you're going to have to go check those out. But first, we're seeing people hanging out in the water. It's still pretty warm outside, so we're going to take a look at the temperatures in our neighborhoods outside right now. You should see those numbers popping up on your screen a wonderful evening great friday happy friday everyone and we're looking at some very nice weather that will continue for the rest of the evening hey if you don't have any plans tonight maybe check out some high school football at kickoff temperatures will be in the upper 80s and we're looking at low 80s by nine o'clock tonight it's gonna be pretty calm with very light winds and as we look at the satellite uh in all honesty there's really not too much to talk about right there on the west coast we're gonna remain fairly dry over the next few days Looking closer at temperatures for tonight, you could see temperatures very similar compared to last night. Clear skies will continue and regionally lows right around 40 degrees at Mount Charleston, 75 degrees for Lake Mead and high temperatures for tomorrow afternoon will be right around 99 degrees for Lake Mead, 98 for Overton in the mid 90s for Pahrump, low 70s on the mountain. And tomorrow for Las Vegas, it's going to be another day that's going to be fabulous. If you like the weather today, you're going to enjoy it again tomorrow. So good news there and slightly warmer weather is expected by Sunday. And as we take you out the next seven days, including your fabulous weekend forecast, you can see the weather cooperates at least for the next few days. After that, slight chance of thunderstorms are possible by early next week. The chances are very low, but still maybe hold off washing your car until then. And we're going to take you back out here. We're at the home of James Brockett, and you've got your wife, Frankie, here. And then here's here's our little man, Ben. Uh, introduce this little guy for me. This is my grandson, Ben. He's the smartest one in the group. He, he's, he is a clever one, and I heard you play piano? Yeah, right. They've got so many things at this house. There's so many elements we need to talk about. But first, your fabulous backyard, and Tuan's going to actually come and get some video of this. Uh, James, tell me a little bit about your backyard and use it for tailgating quite a bit. How did you guys get started with tailgating? Well, my kids are really uh, big football, and, and, and they do tailgating all the time, too. So they're big on football. They're big on tailgating. Uh, Mike, our oldest boy here, he'll actually fly, or not fly, but he'll drive down to uh, California. Uh, for tailgating tomorrow on uh, Sunday, I believe it is. And you guys have a very impressive backyard. Tell me, you guys kind of came up with this from scratch? Yes, we did. Uh, originally, this was a bank-owned property. We bought it in 93. It was built in 69. And uh, at the time, there were really only two houses up here, this one and then one next door, and Hollywood Boulevard was just a dirt road. And this is just a portion of the backyard. We're actually going to take you guys a little bit farther behind the scenes. And you've got a horse to show us? Yes, we do. That's Token. We've had that horse for about uh, 10 years now. And uh, we'll give him a, a little show here. How's that? All righty. We're going to take a quick peek of the horse. And you can see him. Oh, right, right over there. There's Token. Token the horse. This is just one of the many elements that James and his family has in their backyard. We're going to show you a little bit more of uh, what they've got going on here for more of the tailgating. That'll be coming up at 6. Excellent people, Reed and Marie. It's, it's so much fun. You can actually just see everyone. Oh, even, even throwing me the volleyball. We're playing a little bit of a mixture of volleyball and football out here for this tailgate. Look, that guy even just caught that football, almost ran into the, into the play set over there. But, you know, we're having a great time out here. Very calm conditions, barely a breath of wind outside. People certainly having a great time. And, you know, I've been looking around. There's more animals to talk about back here. Um, this is really cool. They've got a little setup of some of the deer. But I kind of feel like Steve Irwin right now. There's actually a tortoise that the family takes care of that lives in that little hole right there. Its name is E.T., and we'll show you some of the babies coming up in just a second. First, we're going to look at the weather. Uh, looks like the tortoise is hiding from the sun, which is going down right about now, but still a beautiful night out in the valley. We're looking at some temperatures outside in your neighborhoods. It's still looking pretty good out there, and it's going to be great tonight for a football game. So, again, if you haven't made plans this evening, we've got some uh, pretty cooperative weather. We've got temperatures that will remain in the 
80s through 9 o'clock tonight. 7 o'clock looks like kickoff will be in the upper 80s. Light winds will continue. We're going to see those clear skies for the next couple of days. Looking at the satellite, we don't have a lot of action on the west coast, but that's kind of how we like it as we get ready for the weekend. Overnight tonight in Las Vegas, the temperatures will be very similar compared to yesterday. Lows again in the 60s across the valley. Regionally, we're looking at upper 50s for Indian Springs, 40 degrees on the mountain, mid 70s for Lake Mead in the uh, overnight tonight. And taking a look at the afternoon temperatures, it's going to be very similar compared to today. So if you like the weather today, you'll like it again tomorrow. Lots of sunshine is expected in Las Vegas. We're looking at a high at around 95 degrees in the afternoon. Near normal conditions for this time of year. And as we look ahead to the rest of the weekend, the warming trend will continue all the way through Sunday. And then after that, a bit of a shakeup in our weather pattern as we get into the early part of the next work week, a slight chance of seeing some thunderstorms. Gusty winds are also expected as a series of storms pass through and a little bit of a dip in temperatures, like I mentioned, also that chance of thunderstorms. Uh, look out for that. Maybe not wash your car just yet. As we come back out here, I'm with the family. You could see James and his wife Frankie right here. And who, who are these little guys? Well, we haven't really named them yet, but uh, we had uh, turtles wander into the property here years ago, and they dug their hole right here, and uh, they proceeded to continuously have babies. So this is a, a couple of them from the uh, litter, the last litter. I'm just, I'm just wondering, what don't you have in your backyard? You guys really have the coolest setup here, and not only some, some wildlife. You said uh, you guys uh, developed uh, your backyard over the last few years. You had some f homes that were uh, built behind you guys, but before that, you said there was a lot of wildlife around here, coyotes? Just, right, it was just de open desert, you know, to Sunrise Mountain with coyotes, uh, rabbits. In fact, I do have a cottontail rabbit in the backyard that comes in and eats oh. the hay. And then we have ground squirrels that live uh, back there, too. So it's, it's like a little sanctuary. That's perfect. So Token has a lot of company, then. He has company. That is awesome. Well, that's just, uh, we're, we'll have another preview of more aspects of their backyard. So don't go away. More of that will be coming up uh, later on this evening on News 3, live at 7 o'clock. Until then, we'll wave goodbye to the viewers for right now and send it back to Reed Murray in the studio. Oh, see you guys. As our producer, Christine, just said, uh, tortoises and tailgates. I'm just hoping my kids aren't watching because they're going to want the address and say, I want I want one. I want one, and the bunny, and the horse, yeah. and the list goes on and on and, and jerseys. On. We don't even have jerseys I back want, here like and that. And of course, the barbecue. Yeah. yeah. And we showed you guys tortoises and tailgates a little bit earlier. Well, how about token and some tailgating? This little horse right here, just one of the many members of the Brockett family. We'll introduce you to the rest of the clan that's coming up next, plus your forecast tailgating. We ate all of the food. James, how did it taste? It was wonderful. I love the place. We'll be, we'll be going back there again. Perfect. And he's got, look at, look at all these family members and friends he's got here tonight. We're going to introduce you to all of them in just a second. First though, we're going to look at the weather outside tonight and uh, gosh, it's a great night to be doing exactly what we're all doing here, hanging out outside. We take you out the next seven days, including your fabulous weekend. You can see we get slightly warmer as we make our way into Sunday. After that, we are expecting a series of storms kicking up those wind speeds in the week ahead. A slight chance for thunderstorms in the early portion of the work week, followed by, of course, that cooler weather. But it's going to feel great, right outside, James? Yes, it will. So can you introduce me? You've got you've got quite a, a, a bunch of people here. And you told me you guys have not only a lot of Las Vegas connections, but a lot of sports connections, too. So so uh, who is who is who are all these people? Well, first of all, this is my brother in law, Pete, my sister, Jamie. And this is Mary, which is a friend of my uh, granddaughter, Kaylin. Hi. And this is Bryson's coach. Hello. And, and you've got you've got a football player here, right? Bryson is a quarterback for Las Vegas High School. Nice, nice, mm -hmm. nice. And, and you've got some young ones right here who, are you guys, are, this is Ben. Are you going to, do you think you're going to be playing football in the future? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like it's a maybe, and what's your name, buddy? Josh. And, and what do you think about tailgating back here with the family and friends? He's so full, he can't talk. Yeah. And we've got, and this is probably one of my favorite parts. James is going to come over here and introduce me to these guys. Who does that? How funny is this? So, so tell me who, who these knuckleheads are well, and, and what in the world are they doing? Where'd you get that chair? I actually won that at a, uh, a union, union party. Ah. And uh, I gave it to Mike because it fits him the best. So left to right, Brian, Mike, and David. That's and they're the big football boys. 
They are, they are. And, tailgaters. And how excited yeah. are you guys to keep tailgating this season? Love it. Good go time. Rebels. 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 Winning season, baby. Winning Let's season. go. <laughs> we love our coach. Thank you. Go Rebels. Yeah. Well, well you heard it from the family themselves. We've got James right here. And then where's where's Frankie? Frankie's right here taking pictures. Come say hello to everyone at home. We're gonna we're gonna wrap up this backyard tailgate. We've we've had so much fun here hanging out with horses, tortoises. We they've even got some birds inside. They've got pools. Poodle, poodles? poodles? I don't know what else they don't have, but we're going to explore a little bit more and we'll post more of that on Facebook. Aww. But for right now, we're going to enjoy the rest of the evening out here and uh, we'll save the rest for social media. So uh, hmm. Reed and Marie, we'll send it back to you guys they in the studio. They have standard poodles. You tell them that Reed says that those are just furry humans. Mm -hmm. furry humans. <laughs> Go Rebels!